Well, good morning. I think winter has arrived. We're still in autumn, but winter's here. Um, yeah, winter's here and there's snow everywhere. Um, people either love it or hate it. As you can see, I love it. I don't mind at all. So, uh, hope you enjoy this. Just getting this camera sorted. So, see you in a minute to get in the workshop. Just thought I'd quickly show you how I'm doing the, uh, this is a very tiny rebate for the fabric hinge. So I've just put a piece of wood across there and I'm just running the ball nose plane down it. Just to take off, oh crikey, a few thousandths of an inch to put the fabric on. So I'm not sure you can see it, but here are the three strips. There's the... There's the edge. Ah, oh, you can. There's the edge. So this is having all of the fabric hinge. And I've just planed this all off flush so that it's the nice same thickness. It would have been nice if we could have got black, but we've got brown. So it was the only one that she got that was wide enough. But you know what? I'm, I'm quite confident that this is... I've done a test piece. Um, which you may or may not have seen. So I know it works. And on previous cameras, I've seen that the fabric goes up against a tiny little shoulder. So doing it exactly as they would. I'm not sure what glue they would have used and I'm not sure what fabric they would have used, but this is the best I can do without some old boys around telling me what to do or telling me how to do it. So what I'm doing is I'm just going over the block to make sure it's to make sure it's down. Hinge is working great, I'll show you that in a minute, but I've just been putting it in and out and this area here is still a bit too tight, so I've just I've just marked it up. There's a bit over there as well for some reason. So this is in the cramps just to make sure that this edge is really nice and tight. Um, there's another way of finishing the edges, so I've just been sorting that. Uh, and now it's going to go back in there. So uh, it's in, and that's great. The, um, the strip stops there. I've got to sort these bits out next. But before I sort those out, I've got to sort out... Oh yeah, you ready for this? I've got to sort out the... Look at that. Did you see that? I've got to sort out the um, the stop that stops that coming up too high. Look at it. It's just... It's just not happy. Once it's got some polish on and some wax, I think it'll slide in there, a treat, but no, it doesn't want to move now. It's almost embarrassing that it doesn't want to... Come on, go down. And the, as I say, these bits need doing. So, what I've got to do is I've got to lift that up, tuck that in, because that's going on later. I'll show you, I'll set it up down here. But that strip, that top strip has got to be tucked under there as well. So there you go, that's where it needs to go to. So now I can just pull it a little bit further than that or squash that in and that's it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark this, drill a couple of holes down there, um, drill a couple of holes, and I'm going to do the screw method. I've seen it on a couple of them. So if I, if I come in, if I come in, say, an inch from that end, an inch from that end and center line seven and three eighths 
about there. And what they did, what the makers did, was they used to drill a hole here, screw through, dimple into the frame underneath, take this out, drill a hole, and then just cut a slot, which means the screw that's sticking out goes up to there and stops at the end of there. Brilliant, what method of doing it? Brilliant. All right, I'm just going to do this here. One, two, three. Three screws and they're cam sunk screws. So I'll just get the drill and sort those out. So I'm just sorting out which screw to use. I think those are too deep. I think these will do. These go about um, three millimeters into there. And there's still some thread into this. Okay. Alternatively, I glue a piece of wood on the back and make a slot for that. I'm gonna have to think I'm gonna have to think about this. And I've decided I'm not gonna glue strips underneath. They're too permanent. Um I do like the idea of it being um serviceable. So these three screws going in there will stop it coming out. But if you actually need to get it out, you undo the three screws. So that's it. Decisions made. It's, um, it's about serviceability. So I'm just going to drill these three holes. I'm counting. Right, so the holes should be there, so I can take this out, and here are the holes. I'll drill these and make the slot. Now I've just got to mark either side of the hole I've just drilled. The way I've seen the slots done before on another one of Joe's cameras is um, they just put it as a V chopping this side, chopping that side, a V. The screw goes up into the slot, hits that bit and stops. So that is what I will do. I've cut that one already. I'm just going to do that one. It's really quite neat actually. Um, uh, I like the way that they've, they've done this. All I'm doing, I'm not hitting it with a, with a mallet. I'm just lining it up square wobbling the chisel a bit at about 45 degrees and then the same here and it's just chopping through the fibers um, looks really neat there you go another one done so here you go you can can you see this if you can't just tell me. Yeah, nice little wobble on the chisel. Yeah, it's a sharp chisel. And because they're off the square, we know that this will be the correct path for. I've not done this before, it's quite nice. Right, next, screw it together. Right, hang on a second. Sometimes the choice of the screwdriver isn't necessarily how pretty the handle is or how um, expensive it is, it's how well it holds onto the screw, so this is great. So, but hopefully it'll work. I might not have done that groove deep enough. And if I haven't, I'll feel this, I'll feel this, um, there you go, I haven't. I'll feel this rise, and I can see it's risen. So, okay, that's fine. Now I can see where it comes to, but it's a good thread. It's threading in the whole grain. Oh, it's not far off. Let's chisel a bit more out. Thank you. 
so just raise the angle a bit more Something, oh, there you go. I was going to say something nice and sharp. Or let's try that. Hopefully, this will work. No, I felt it move again. Then, okay, this is going to take two or three goes. Get back to you in a bit. should come up to there should come a bit further but that's okay should come a bit further This isn't my favourite part. I mean, the hinge works. I mean, that's that's pretty good. But that's no, it's got to go another female that way. So I've got to take it out and look at it again. Right, the screws are in. a bit of messing around first isn't there that comes up to there brilliant could you feel it that little click that's fine that goes over and does this piece fit underneath yes so the stops are exactly right that's great right now I can get on with finishing so I can start doing the black in there black everywhere inside and uh, polish on the outside. So that feels pretty good. Not keen on the fact that this doesn't really want to go in without the um, without some wax. Right, let's put that back in the camera.
trick here is not to put too much pressure on. It's just to touch it into place and then touch the edges down. So I've got some blackout paint on here and just need to do the camera over there. Good morning. So I've had it all together and uh, I've had a disaster. The ribbon, the ribbon came flying off. Um, this is obviously too shallow. I've thinned that down. But hey ho, that's all black on that side so that's nice. And it works, it's, you know, the hinge is, is pretty good. I'm pleased with that, sort of pleased with it. But yeah, I've just run the marking gauge over this. I'm going to, I'm going to round this off a bit like the one I repaired last week sometime uh, and get a nice round on that. Um, this is exact copy of the, of the camera, the one over there. And let me just show you that one. This one has, has stayed really well. It's stayed in. It's good. Um, you can see where you can see where the frame has cramped that bit in and pushed it in, which means there's no loose ends. So that that's useful. But on the plate holder, it's different. So, but yeah, this is good. Good. So I'm just chiselling from this the centre of this down into that channel. That gives me more a better. A better edge seal down there um, and hopefully the middle part will be thinner for the pile because I think the problem is I think the problem is when the when there's more of a curve on it you can't really see that can you? I'm gonna use my mask as a background when there's more of a, a radius to it if I pinch it Uh, it's just got the centre of the felt to go by. Whereas when it's almost flat, which this is, as I say, copied off the camera. Uh, when it's more flat, it's got all that quarter of an inch to move the fibres in. Uh, and they go in all right, but when dragging it back out, all those fibres have got to start coming back out the other way. So I think, I think this will help. come the other way. I don't know whether I'd be better off just doing it like this. Yeah, probably. I'm going to get down here now. Five this is still holding. So I've rounded all this off, similar to the other camera I did last week, and uh, just letting some PVA in there. I'm trying to do it so that the PVA is thicker down the. Um, on the sides here, right on the edges, so that it captures the edge of the of the ribbon.
can you still see? Well, I've just glued that down, so I've got a much better radius on there now. I'm happier that the the groove either side, I mean, it's a lovely round on there. I'm happy that the groove either side is, is going to cope with the salvage of the ribbon. So hopefully this won't rip off. But as you can see, it's uh, it allows the fabric to move better. But I'm so much happier with that now. And and if I'd have done some sort of camera apprenticeship, I'd have learned this, but I've not. I'm learning on the job. I'm learning on the as it goes, and uh, it's looking pretty good. I'm now going to black out the inside of there. Put some black on this. So I'm just capturing these um, edges that will be exposed inside. Well, I thought I'd show you where I'm up to. This has had uh, a few coats of French polish. Um, the ribbon's working. I'll show you that in a second when I've got these screws in. And these screws are the ones that stop the panel falling out. So I'm, I'm quite pleased with it now. So anyhow, look, this now opens, he says, there you go, the velvet and we're over. That needs to come a bit more. I think one of these screws is catching slightly. So I'll just turn them back a quarter of a turn. Actually, I'll leave that one there. There's a bit of polish around here still. So it's had a coat of French polish so that I could then put wax on it. Um, and I can't show you that velvet working now, can I? But you can um, you can watch this close. It's a bit it's a bit iffy. It's easier in the camera than it is not in the camera. There you go. And that folds over. Look like that. So it it opens up. All the way to degrees and then shuts. It'll bed in, it's got some wax down there, it'll bed in. Right, let's go and put it in the camera. One of the things Joe wanted was as the bellows open more, they hang down more. So she wanted a block made for in there, in the center, so that, um, so that it supports the bellows, which is a great idea, it stops more damage. So I've come up with this. Uh, this will sit, the skis will sit either side of that centre part. I've just glued it up to show you. The skis will sit either side of that centre part. They'll get cut off and rounded so they can't break at all and damage. But they'll sit in that middle. It'll be waxed so that it can slide up and down in the centre part. And I've rounded the top slightly so as the bellows move it won't catch on a corner. I've rounded these off. So that should be pretty good. I'm just going to give it a dust down. Well, this is how much the bellows sag down. And I've made this block so that we can put it under there and into the middle. There you go, it snaps into place. And now look, there's the block. Bellows are straight. Less pressure on the bellows. Sitting on what, three or four? Round top so that it doesn't damage anything. Could be used just near one of these timber frame ones.